Hey, what's up peeps from Earth? My name is SpongeBob. Squarepants, obviously, and I would like to tell you a story based on a real episode from my TV show SpongeBob Squarepants. Let's get started. Well, it all began one morning. I woke up, and like every day, king alarm wakes it out of me, and that's savage man, so I obviously get up to work. It was 8 o'clock as I remember. I went to the Krusty Krab, my job and a pleasant place to work. To then prepare delicious meals with some respect for the clients, whose love to order crubby patties, a way to consume, was really special. But yeah, what else they'll buy am for? I usually receive commands from my sympathetic, ugly ass friend, Squidward, he helps me to deliver the food, or what I like to call nourishments for the customers, so Mr. Krabs himself, our big superior, could receive money on his pants, but with the capacity to pay us one cent. A cent not only for our hard succeeded work, but also for our certain degree. Yeah. We acknowledge and accept this corruption, but we can barely eat, and we use the same clothes 20 for 7 man. Poor Squidward could not afford some pants and that's bad news, in conclusion, but I love to work here. Not until this a one-eyed named Sheldon Plankton, a tiny envious creature, which, we can clearly see, approaches, does his foolish evil entrance and tries to steal the formula from our crubby patties to make our lives miserable. We hate to call the police all the time because, whenever they arrest him, he always flees. You may ask how. Well, because he is damn small, and of course, he has the ability to escape from the jail bars. So, Mr. Krabs, Squidward, and I, upon such enthusiasm and such energy and intensity always have to put him on the trash to keep this place safe. We had very remarkable victories, which we had to admit that we had brutally enjoyed, but, yo, he is immortal as dab. Well, after work I obviously go home to feed my litty savage pet snail Gary, who only eats shit food. Food on which I personally would not highly recommend. But okay, I went home, and holy pepperoni. Something was missing. Yeah you guess it, it was Gary, my big pal wasn't there. I was genuinely worried. Within that happening, my lazy ass friend, Patrick, spent all evening trying to help me find him, but no we could observe. We were, indeed, out of ideas on where to find him, until we finally found him at Grandma's house. The end.